Hey you guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching Better Call Saul, Season 4, Episode 7. Something stupid. What? Jimmy's going to do something stupid. Something to do with cell phones, probably. I don't know. Yeah, let's jump in. I think Seriously. we need to jump in. Um, we were I've left off with a, a good exchange with Gus uh, and, he you know, Hector, who's not really with it right now, but mm -hmm. yeah, I'm excited for this next episode, so let's do it. Brush your oh teeth. Oh my god. Brush them. Why? <laughs> it's double. They're double brushing their teeth. God, they're still going. My god, really? <laughs> She's setting up her office at her new job. Finally getting the cast off. Right. They grew apart. We all still got the line down the middle, I see. And now he's up. And contemplating. So. Yeah, contemplating. You made it. Come on in. Picture a reception desk right here. Relationship isn't right? going to work. Nice to be greeted by a friendly face. Couch, couple chairs, water cooler. Uh, we're four blocks from the courthouse here. So how convenient is that? This is for the partner. Corner office. Lots of natural light. Um, there's a kitchenette down the hall. Stick a few potted plants around and make the place nice. What do you think? Uh, Huel. So no more cell phones. This is what the phones were for. If you were a lawyer, this would be a great place, right? If I was a lawyer, no. <laughs> no. Big glass high rise. Big glass high rise. Yeah. And I'm not on my boat. Uh, well, that's that bedroom. Jimmy can't yeah. really afford that. Oh, he's awake. Esta persona está enojada. Muy bien. Eso estuvo mucho más rápido. Muy bien. So what does he do? So huh? No, he did that shit on yeah, purpose. Oh. That's why. You wanted to see that ass? Okay, with the creepy face. <laughs> no, he's not. He's somewhere else right now in his mind. Don't worry, they're going to love you. Who? Who and why did you not sound very confident? Yeah, there. Jimmy, hey, you gotta say I'm obsessed with your tie. Oh, Lawyer colleagues or something? Oh, he hasn't seen her office. Probably not. That's what I'm gathering. It's really nice. Nice office. I don't like the wallpaper, but Six, much bigger. Seven, Is he realizing that maybe it's not best for her. No, we're just talking about company retreats. No. Where are we going? <laughs> Sorry mm -hmm. about that. Employees only. Oh, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard 10,000 ways to do this. That's amazing. I yeah. love that place. I still think that's house is number one. I love a ski trip. House. Nice. Ice. Uh, uh, Feel free to jump in. We're just spitballing here. She's like, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> you know where the great skiing is? Oh, it's Telluride. It's kind of a long drive, isn't it? Well, that could be part of the fun. Rent one of those fancy party buses. Pretty soon you're there. And I gotta say, the runs at Telluride, they make Taos look like a bunny slope. It's, it's worth considering. And Parkers. Everybody's gotta have Parkers. You certainly don't think small. He does not, no. <laughs> Shit. You know what? Aspen. Hey, that's where you want to go. And Shopping, now he's going to uh, make a fool out of himself. And geez, Aspen is like a nine hour bus run. It is a long time to be sitting on a bus. So fly. But, what's that I hear? <laughs> you I'm could fly. Getting Aspen, them all worked up. <laughs> Spending that kind of money and. Oh, she's pissed. Well, yeah, because he put her boss in a situation right there. Oh, that was something. It was. Yep. Why'd you do that? Because the office space. Yeah, but don't sabotage her in the process. That ain't gonna be good ever. Please so this music. It's, uh, <laughs> it's like <laughs> yodeling. I don't fit Mike with the song at all. No. 
They leave in the morning, come back in the evening. And they can't see where they're heading. Whatever with the song. It's horrible. In the cigarette trees. We've got We're an underground. Gone. This is the part that they need. Yep. And he's made modest improvements in his attack sales. Wow. This all sounds quite positive, but you know the question that I will ask. Is it the Hector Salamanca I think at this point that's almost a philosophical question. What I can tell you is that he's more responsive. He's making incremental improvements almost every day. If you could see the evidence, you'd be very encouraged. That same exchange would have taken four times as long a month ago. A month before that, he couldn't respond at all. Or his vital signs have improved. And also, he's, he's going to see right, right here that yep. it's the same old Hector. Focus on hand mobility. Yes. That was likely an involuntary movement. Mm -mm. Why was he looking at her then? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Doesn't that just satisfy him? Do you think that was purposeful? Yeah. Yes. And you're some kind of specialist. You've done magnificent work. But she don't know his context either. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I understand construction on your clinic is nearly complete. The new way is simply extraordinary. You'll be able to care for so many patients who would have been tossed aside. I've kept you from your work long enough. Oh, it that's it? It's time to delegate Mr. Salamanca's care. His recovery has been remarkable. Hector's progress is very promising. With sustained intensive care, he may eventually learn how to talk and even walk again. Uh, perhaps. As he practically <laughs> looks at the camera like, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> now that the boys have built the concrete forms, we are nearly ready to pour the walls. First, there must be one more blast. Carefully shaped to keep from damaging the work. Something's gonna happen. How big a pop are we talking about? Fucking Kai. Whoopsies. Uh, okay, Mike. Come on right up. the track suit. <laughs> the curl. The curly key. Who this be? And who this be? This you? Saul Goodman? Uh, that's right. You, uh, you want to know where I got it? About the drug dealer who got sprung today because he was using the drop phone that you sold. Huh. Huh. Doesn't bother you that you're peddling to a bunch of lowlifes who use these things to sell drugs? What my customers do with the phones after they leave my possession, that's their business. Get your man out of here. Park in front of a grocery store in Corrales, you know, someplace nice, and, and sell there. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of, a lot of soccer moms that can use some phones. It's my customer base right here. Get some new customers. I don't feel the need to. See, I got oh, one. Oh, here comes a collecting threat. Sales tax, and this is a legitimate business. It's been nice and cool. Yeah. And I respectfully decline. What's it going to be? What? It's going to be literary or rolling through some, stuff? Some. Hey, how about you plant something, something in my glove compartment? You know what, pal? Uh. He's going to grab him. Oh, my God. Yeah. Whoopsies. <laughs> Whoopsies. My friend got this news. He's just trying to do his job. I hired him for security to try to protect me. You were in plain clothes. He had no idea you were a police officer. Oh, he knew all that. I picked him up three years ago. Big party. He couldn't see you from behind. Three years? That's a long time. I mean, how can you be sure it's the same guy? You will not see me out here selling my phones ever again, right? So just do me a favor. Let's just shake hands, avoid the paperwork, and we just go home. I was asking you for a favor. Fair enough. Well, I asked you nicely, and you told me to go screw myself. Well, then I, I stay here selling. I don't think I used those words. I see you around. Poor Huel. Glad that you can join me for my happy hour. 
He doesn't look so happy to me. Then you'll feel better after, how do you say it, uh, when in kindergarten, the whole class has an eyes to the west. Mm -hmm. Nap, Nap time. time. Nap time. Emma Trout and John, it comes from two words. World plus strength. Yeah, I guess. What's the latest? Business. Before we can continue, we must build a new concrete form and straighten the rebar. I'm happy to explain the delay to Mr. Frank. You don't worry about Mr. Frank. He just wants to see it done right. What would happen if we sent Kai back to Germany? Yeah. No good. Kai is my best demolition man. He's a good boy. They all are. Well, maybe that's the problem. They're boys. They can see we're not easy, can't we? No. You have done wonderful job, Michael. But you can't keep a man locked away forever. Right. Rest and relaxation. Precisely. This is what they need. I don't know that I'd be letting them out on the town to party well, it up, especially that time. Back to Germany. Anyway. Let's go to the max. Come on, now. Well, come down. He's trying to soften you up for an easy deal, right? There's no way you do that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, he's... I can go. No, uh, no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Come on, you'll have a war to tie you. Sooner or later, we gotta catch up. And get a baby Cooper. <sighs> What's he gonna why do? You, uh, why don't you give me a, a shot at this? I, I think I can fix it. Please don't do that. You ain't even a lord. I don't need to be a warrior. I'm a magic man. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what say to me? You gonna fuck this up, Jimmy? That's what so I'm thinking. About what? You've been selling drop zones? On the street? It came, I, it just, it, it could, uh... This is how she gets to find out about it? But put on desk duty twice. I know he has anger issues. I can attest to it, right? So, you get him smelling like a distillery and we piss him off in court. You get the She's gist. not going to do be down with you know, this. Uh, Case dismissed. <laughs> it, what? She's like, I don't even know what to say to this right now. Say yes, because that'd be so interesting. Baylor, can you give me case material for Penal Code 3422? Great. Uh, what's our first move? I'm not tearing down a cop. I will look into this. I don't know, maybe there is something I could do. If she's going to do this her way. Thanks. Okay. Now, time to go. Wow. You're in the doghouse, buddy. Oh. Just, you have a minute to discuss the case? I can't, I don't think you guys are reaching with this one. To start with, the whole thing is just a misunderstanding. Realistically, we should be talking misdemeanor. It's battery on a PO. That's 18 months plus a year of each time. I know what you're asking for. It's excessive. He didn't even know he was a cop. The guy drove an unmarked car. He was in plain clothes. He, he had his back turned. We had five other cases where civilians were accused of physical force against police officers, and not once were the defendants given anything close to this kind of jail time. This is unequal justice. How can you justify giving Babineau 18 months plus a year? He has no history of violence. Is and this a race thing? Is a... I'm going to go talk to him right now. I need you to back my play. He's not going to do what they're pushing for. I promise you that. Yeah, no matter what, he's, he's going to have to do some time. You're going to tell him to stay put? Yeah. Sure. No. You do your thing, I'll do mine. Jimmy, come on, what is that? Kind of how it started? Yep. Don't worry. What is he doing? I, I don't know what he's doing. It's going to cut. I know it. What is she doing? Jimmy, whatever you're doing, don't. I have a better way. Oh. What is she doing? Of course it's going to end there, right? I hate this. Right when it gets to, like, What's Jimmy doing? What's Kim's at? Why is she getting school supplies? Like, but yeah, however this ends up, I feel like is really going to tear, put a wedge in between uh, Kim and Jimmy. I don't know. There's already a wedge between There them. is, but now she's. But there's a better way doesn't necessarily mean that it's an illegal way, which is the way that Jimmy would go. Or could, hear me out, she be playing maybe because of the other sentences that's what i was thinking too. you know what i mean maybe drawing posters and having i mean i don't know how they would get other people to like hold you know what i mean like like a make protest it, make, yeah 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 a protest because is this a racial thing number one is my question because she's saying cert certain people are being treated differently and getting different sentences. That's and I right. want to know more about these certain people. Is it a racial thing? See, is I think it... it is. I think it is. I mean, to be super honest with you, 
it, I mean, that, that just went into my head after trying to figure out what the fuck she's doing buying markers and all that. Well, that tells me. She's going to create a protest. Yes. Yes. And put pressure on them. That, look, you're giving some people two months probation, whereas you're trying to get the full 18 months mm -hmm. because he has priors. He has one prior of pickpocketing. But with the same cop. Yeah. That picked him up. So, I mean, in a way, when he was, you know. It could be a vendetta against, that she could play it I don't like, know how anyone would get away with it. I mean, you can't just go up and sock someone, whether you know that it's a cop or not. You can't just go up and do that. You know, it's, it, yeah, it's assault. I mean. It's assault, but, but it, at that point, it can be argued that he was not in a uniform. He did not have a marked vehicle. So how can it be assault on a police officer when and they his don't back know the whole was turned story either i and mean his back was turned and he's working security and you were yelling at his boss he pushed you he didn't i mean he hit you with a bag of bread you know i get it but they're definitely going well, it definitely was more than bread because obviously it knocked him down so yeah but yeah, you know what I'm i saying. get it i get it but the point is is that there's a lot of different angles that this can be taking to to poke holes in the story no, I, I, as to why it may not deserve what's Yule's biggest thing it's not to spend a day in jail okay yeah he doesn't want to go to prison jail whatever okay so what is one way to get a deal is to put pressure and expose things so i think that's where they're going but it but it's still with a scheme. Her picking up markers and all that, all them school supplies and stuff. It seems like she wants to create some sort of signage or something like that. I mean, we could be way off, but it immediately when she started listing off the differences in sentences, I immediately started asking, "Is this a racial thing, or is there some sort of injustice that they're that's what I'm thinking? They're locking up, you know, uh, black people." Or Hispanic people at a diff at a higher rate than white people. Yeah, yeah. That's a question, and if they are, that is something. And in that reality, be that's the that's something that goes on. It's something that happens, and until it's exposed, and then you know, and that's the thing about you know the show kind of plays into the times as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, in that regard, in, in that respect, yeah. Um, I do want to talk about. Two other things. Okay. Uh, Mike with the crew. Yeah. Obviously, they're at each other's throats. Uh, they things need are going some R&R. &R. But the problem is, if he gives them that, how does he go about giving them that space without them talking or finding out where they're, you know. Gus is never going to be okay with them going out and that's, doing, so that's kind maybe of a, they're going to have to bring the party to them somehow, like bring in some girls, bring in some, you know, I don't know. Maybe I think they something. just want out of the cave, you know, after a while being, you know, um, locked up and whatnot. It's going to be deeper than that because they have everything they need. There. But how long, how long did they say that they've been down there doing this? Eight months, I think. And they're not, and they were supposed to have it I done think. in eight months, and they're not even halfway done. So they're losing steam. So does this piss Gus off more than anything? Like to where you know what? I'll just start off with a brand new crew since it's halfway well, done. Well, that's that was the other thing in my and mind. And I'll just kill these motherfuckers. Yes, because loose lips sink ships. Yeah, and he's not about having loose lips. Around. So he would just kill them. Get. Get the. I mean, they're from Germany. I mean, get the boss, I mean, the foreman guy, keep him to try to do, you know, a new crew, basically. No, it'd be easy for Gus because it's. But that would affect Mike because he's actually. Yeah. He, it seems like him and the foreman or the bo the German head guy, the head guy in charge of everybody there. Um, they seem to be getting along. He's saying like, oh, Mike, you're, you're a part of our team. And like, that just makes me think that this team is going to be dead. Yeah. By Gus. Yeah. And Mike's going to not be happy about it. Because well, he's 
grown and, it back. And the other thing is, what's the most important thing to Mike? His granddaughter, and yeah, if you can keep her safe, those guys are expendable at that point. At that point, especially some of them that Mike's already questioning. Yeah. Like Kai. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is Gus and... Uh, and calling off the doctor because he sees that he up Hector is same he <coughs> is Hector right now. <coughs> but or he's he, getting better. He's getting better, but he doesn't want, want him, him to better. quite be a hundred percent better. He doesn't want him walking. He doesn't want him talking. He wants him to suffer. Yeah. And he doesn't yeah want him in to this, take that next in step. this state that he's in. Yeah. He's still there. It's still him. He wanted him lucid. It's almost like lucid, but he, not is capable yeah yeah gus brilliant character Very but brilliant. almost domineering in the fact that he wants to control hector everything like the environment he's in he does not want him he wanted to get him to this point and then lock it in yep. like you know what i'm saying exactly and um that's interesting to me um, it just it shows the level that he would go to, you know, killing him would be easy. He, yeah, he absolutely he wants him to suffer for as long as possible. Yeah, and that really sort of hammers home why Hector is Gus's one achilles heel basically it is. it is um he is so focused on this that's the only thing that takes him out of his like good yep. thinking smart he's brain he's, he's on it he's always on top of everything but when that's it comes why you're to gonna Hector, see the germans dead i mean yeah you're you're right on the money i think i'm you thinking know, uh with that there's no good turn of this gus will not go for them having an r and r no no nope. because like i said it's too he's, risky yeah loose lips sinks Gus. So he's not going to let that happen. He's not going to let that happen. No. no. Regardless of how Mike thinks it might be a good Mike idea. Mike might come to him and might ask him about it and be like, hey, I think they'll work so much better or whatever. But I think even Mike knows by now mm. that that but is does not going to happen. Does he though? I mean, maybe he does. He likes, he likes the guy's enough to at least try i think but i think it's going to get shot down but then that's going to put doubt in gus's head that they're not going to get this job done anytime soon mm -hmm. i need to bring in a new crew and guess what you know if you haven't realized it or not we do enjoy the show a lot mm -hmm. um this is definitely um a good one and i definitely want to thank sue for this as well um this is such a great show. I love it. It, it. It's interesting. It's chess all the way through. Yeah. It's like, you know, the whole Kim thing, you know, trying to figure out what she's doing and where Saul's mind is at, where Mike's mind is at, you know, how loyal can he be and just how far will Gus go yeah. to control his empire, you know? Um <laughs> With yeah. his Achilles heel hanging on to him, obviously. Yeah. We see the outcome. We see the outcome of everything, of but how that turns out, but it turns out exactly against Gus because that's you know, the about, one thing that to, brought him down. Think about where we've seen Hector. Yeah. We've seen him in the desert in a shack. I mean, it's like. There's so much more to that story yet of the torture that's going to be that, rained of upon. Of that, it. Gus is still going to rain upon this torture to make us feel maybe a little bit of remorse towards Hector when we think back on Breaking Bad on why mm -hmm. he was so apt to take himself out just to also take Gus out. And don't get me wrong, Hector deserves quite a bit. Oh, exactly. I'm just saying they're going to. I feel like the show is going in that direction to show us how sadistic yeah. Gus can really be. Still one of my favorite characters of all time. Oh, yeah. Amazing and character. It's just his implementation and the things he says and how he acts. And, yes. you know, it just plays the perfect. You couldn't have got a better person for that role. Perfect character. Yes. Yeah. Perfect actor to play that role. I love it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. Please leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Share the video and squish that bell. And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you. Until next time. And better call Saul. Peace out.